Hey guys, welcome back. Joe and Tosh here from scalefreak.com coming to do a little side-by-side -side test today. We've got her TRX4 with the Pitbulls, the Pitbull XL Rock Beasts, and Kevin's TRX4 with the Trax. So we're gonna test today on the same obstacles all over the place, just to check to see how do these perform versus gonna, these. I'm gonna win. She, okay, she says she's gonna win. I'm gonna win. She gonna win? No. No? You're gonna win. You think I'm gonna win? Yeah. Kid said it. Let's see how the day goes. So a very glaring problem that we've learned so far is that these tracks eat these batteries and wow, that motor is hot. Now this thing has been geared as suggested by tracks. It's 11 tooth uh, pinion, 45 tooth spur. This is my second battery on the trail, whereas my wife is still on her first. Same batteries, same three cells, 2200 milliamp each. This one just hit lipo for the second time. And she's all the way up there still going with the kid this motor is that is spicy it's hot so i seem to be able to drive over a lot more stuff but not for long
Okay, so not that much longer on the trail and this video is done. Why do I say not that much longer? Well, Tasha's truck is still on her first 2200 milliamp three cell battery. Uh, this one just finished its third. So these tracks, ooh, they hog the power. Uh, they also overheat the motor if you're running it in high speed, even though it is geared to tracks as specifications. Um, and again, I've been through three batteries and she's still on her first one. Yikes. All right, so what are your thoughts? Uh, well, you know what, you watch this truck. What are your thoughts on this one? It's so easy, you literally just aim it where you want it to go and then drive it and it just goes. Like yeah. it, there's no, you don't have to do any kind of thinking. No, so the tracks allow you to drive over, through, on top of and under, well, not necessarily under, it makes the truck a bit taller. Just put anything, um, with ease. Yeah, yeah, like like almost too, almost too easy. Yeah, and where the tires, you still have to drive. Yeah. You still have to figure it out, you still have to pick your line. With the tracks, you literally just point and shoot, uh, as long as the battery lasts. Now, one thing I did figure out, now one of the claims on these trucks is that one of the first things you want to do is replace the servo. Her truck with the tires, it's, fine. it's not been a problem. This one here, uh, as you're driving it, the servo is weak enough that it will actually do whatever it wants to do in forward or in reverse. It just kind of has a mind of its own and you have to fight for it because all of that contact patch, well, it pretty much does whatever it wants to. So that's going to be a bit of a concern. Um, so definitely update the servo. Now there has been thoughts about, well, why would you buy the tracks? They're super, super expensive. Well, guess what? By the time you get a set of Pipple XLs, a good set of rims and a good set of foams, you're costing pretty close to the set of tracks anyway. So if you're running a stock truck, this isn't too far off as far as price. So I guess it really goes down to what look you're going for, what kind of terrain that you're running in, and how many batteries you have. Because we haven't been out here very long and I've gone through most of today's supply. So I'm gonna go back and uh, we're gonna finish the day with what I have left with the trail finder and her truck, which is still going on its first first battery as well as steve trucks as well as bear's truck all on their first battery and this burned off three so guys thanks for checking it out if you have any questions or anything like that uh comments field down below click like click subscribe and of course share this through a friend bear bear come here bear come come Hello. come here come here hurry up anything you want to say to people before we shut this one down subscribe click the subscribe to watch so you don't miss a video and you can get our shirts too. We don't have shirts yet, but that's a good idea. All right. Thank you guys. Bye, Tosh. Bye. Bye, Steve. See you guys.